You know jungles of Lustra very well, ancient continent where defenders of the world live in the majestic pyramids. But not many, even among lizardmen, know jungles of Lustra as well as kings. Oxyotal is one of those kings, and he gathered his trusted, red-crested bodyguards, Aectil and Yankee Toe, on a secret mission that he received in a vision from a mighty slum. Oxyotal, you are hearing an echoing voice in your head. Oxyotal, there is an ancient evil that awakened. It appeared in a sacred sanctum. It desecrated the place. You need to stop it. Banish the evil. And you gathered your trusty bodyguards, two red-crested skink, Aectil and Yankito. You are standing in front of an ancient entrance to sacred sanctum. Ectil, Yankito. And just give them the uh, over the shoulder to follow me. And I'll start sneaking into the temple, looking for tracks for what I'm here to hunt down under the orders of the slan. We are following. <laughs> this sanctuary <laughs> is one of the few that remains on this world. Those ancient structures were created by the old ones to preserve a forbidden winds of magic in the powerful plaques. Old braziers are still burning on the top of, of those crusted statues covered with vegetations. Nothing looks odd beside one small detail that you see. Entrance stone is broken, the seal was broken, and it's covered in blood. Oxyadol? I am a perceptive boy. I can see things that others would miss with my big old eyes. Is there anything I notice about, like, tracks, how the blood sprayed, anything like that? You see the tracks of fighting here. Fighting. Do they look like, hmm, perhaps hoof prints? No, you don't see something like that. But you can lick the blood. Uh... Well, I think I can handle doing that. I will, in fact, go and lick the blood. And you feel that it's not a lizardman blood. It's something foul. Mm. Foul. Well, in that case, I'm going to very stealthily go about moving in and following the trail deeper in to the sanctuary. Okay. What about you, Aektil and Yankito? We are still following closely behind. Mm -hmm. Oxy, you must be careful. Remember, I am a skink with a great hammer. I can protect you. Let's go. You're entering a cold corridor made of ancient stones with writings on them and hieroglyphs. It's a quite vast corridor, so all three of you are able to be here with a lot of space. There are deep marks on the walls that looks like they were made with blades. Yaktil, Yankee Toe, move forward. I will sneak around and guide you, uh, protect you from the sides. All right, Yankee, you or me first, or together. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Together, uh, you protect the flank, I will go forward, okay? Oh, yes, all right, let's do that then. I'll protect the flank, let's go. Okay. So brave uh, Aiktil with his two axes and Yankito with his giant hammer are going forward and Oxyoto just started to crawl on one of the walls and started to go above all of you and you're slowly moving forward. You venture deep and deep into the corridor and you can hear a sound of water. I'm going to listen more intently to see if I hear if it is just water flowing or something splashing around in it. Mm -hmm. Perception test. All right, let me roll that. And I did not roll low enough, I don't think. You hear only water, you don't hear anything else. I think lean into why Oxyadol is such a powerful thing and I have the ability to become invisible, and I'm going to do that and then scamper forward. Mm -hmm. Aektil and Yankito, you see 
Oxyotl above you and in an instant he disappears. Like in thin air, you never saw something like that. But you're not asking, you're not here to ask questions. And Oxyotl, you came onto over a rock ledge above a small pond and a waterfall. Rays of moonlight breaks through the damaged ceiling of the cave. You see the traces of struggle. There are some broken arrows around and blood stains on some of the rocks. You see that something uh, is moving in the shallow water, but you are not able to see it from here. Well, my boys have their orders. I'm going to take hold my position for now and wait for them to move in. Hmm. We are moving forward. Right, Jenky? Tread carefully. Tread carefully. Tread. Treading carefully. As you're trading carefully, you're seeing the same image. So, a waterfall place. There are water, some uh, signs of struggle, but nothing really more right now. There are arrows. Can I see anything from these arrows with perception? Uh, from, from the ledge, you're seeing that some of them are broken and there are blood on them. Um, like, can I see you, can I try to perception roll to know which race those arrows are from? You can see it without a perception, even those are not lizardman arrows. Of course not, but it could be us or human. That's what I'm trying to imply. <laughs> You're too far away. Too far away, okay. Yankee, what do you think? Could it be humans? Could it be elves? There's only one way to find out. We can come closer and inspect. We must find it, gather as much information as possible to know what we're getting Oxy into. Okay, then we are treading forwards to the arrows to examine them. Mm -hmm. So you are going down to the, through the old stairs and you are stepping into the pound. And the first thing you see there are bodies in this pound. Yankee, look! They're bodies! What kind of bodies are those? Are, are they lizard? No. No. You're going closer and closer and you try to grab one of those corpses, the body that you see in the shallow water, and you see a twisted goat-like creature that have uh, uh, s uh, his uh, neck sliced. Goat-like person. This is definitely one of those children, children of chaos. No. How can they be in here? How far have they gone? We need to let Oxyrtle know. Is he is he nervous? Did he see that? Maybe we should drag the cops uh, with us so he can see it from afar. As you're saying oh. this, you are seeing that water starts to stir. Something big is moving below you. And water explodes all around you and you see big, wounded and barely living troglodon that emerges from the water. It's wounded, as I was saying, there are arrows, there are spears in its body, and it's looking on you very aggressively. No, mm -hmm. no, a fallen troglodon. We, is, is there any way? I, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna make it. We, we should, we should be careful because it looks very, uh, very on the edge, you know? I am going to scamper down from my spot to where I have a good angle with my blowpipe and I'm going to be ready mm -hmm. in case it decides it wants to lash out at my skinks. Yeah. And this troglodon rises above the water and instantly goes down. It's very wounded. It's barely living right now. You see even its acid is going out of its mouth. It's hurting itself right now. It's barely living. But when you try to go a little closer to it, on the far end of this cave, if you can hear a scream and see a goat 
person, something twisted. You never see something like that with horns above its head in two giant axes. A creature screams and tries to go out of this cave with the second entrance. What are you doing? Oh, well, uh, I'm definitely not going to just let it get away. And my boys are too far away with their melee weapons, so I'm going to just give it, pull out the old Patui blowpipe and fire at him. Okay. Do it. Rolling. And I am at an eight, so I, I meet my uh, score. Does that a connect? Oh, yeah. Then it's fine. Roll on the damage. All right, cool. That is another D10 plus four, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that is a total of six. And uh, Hagtil and Yankee, you see above of you that Oxyoto just appeared instantly and he used his golden pipe to. <coughs> and the dart attacked uh, this uh, beast creature in one of her legs, but it didn't stop. And it's still running away. And you need to decide right now. You want to help the troglodon or go and chase this creature? That looks like a bestigor to you, Oxyoto. Should should I should I run after him or? I'm going to jump down close to them. Mm -hmm. This is the, this is the moment you need to decide. You want to help the troglodon or go uh, and chase this uh, bestigor? Kill it. Help the troglodon. Yankee toe with the me. And I will uh, charge after him. And if I still have an, a line of sight on him, I'm going to go ahead and phew, another dart at him. Okay. Go with it. All right. That's it. Yeah, that connects. Okay. Go with the damage. And then, ooh, rolling low for damage. Total of five. <laughs> Again, you <coughs> blow your pipe, but this time darts bounce from the armor. And Oxyoto I don't suppose. and Yankee Toe, both of you are chasing the Bestigor, I assume. Okay. And as uh, you just straight up start starting to chasing it, Oxyotal, you're on four legs and feet, so your stick is on the back right now, pipe on the mm -hmm. other side, and you're like, wait, 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 wait. Like a small <laughs> lizard. Yankee Toe is a little bit slower because he's quite muscular for a, a red-crested skink and with his hammer he also needs to uh, take a little time and Bessigor uh, disappears in the next corridor uh, Oxyotl and Yankito you are going to the far end of it Iktil you are alone with Troglodon and you see that it's suffering right now I have a backpack with me mm -hmm. with some um, herbs I assume of course. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing? You want to uh, uh, help it, I assume. Of course, I try to. I, I approach it very slowly with my hands. Okay, go with intelligence test then. Intelligence test. What's my intelligence? My intelligence test is five. So. Da -da -da. Ooh. Um, it needs to be under, right? And you see that you enraged it. Enraged it to the moment that you fall back because it tried to charge on you and you fall back. You get knocked out. You're unconscious for a moment. And when you open your eyes, Trogalodon is no more. You see on the waterfall, everything seems normal. For a minute, but you feel something strange. And Oxyotl and Yankee, you are alone because you left Aektil uh, back with Troglodon, so yeah, Aktil can help him and then uh, get back to both of you. You're going, uh, you're hearing this bestigor that you are uh, trying to chase right now. The corridor is looking the same as before, so have some writings on the back, but you are barely able to, sadly, uh, get to this trouble, uh, to this bestigor, and please, both of you, make an agility test right now. Can do. I met it. 
I had an eight. Okay. And Oxyotal, you're able to uh, crawl uh, on some of the walls of this corridor and surprise the Bestigor. What do you want to do right now? Well, I think I'm going to go for a weak point shot in its armor. And because it is such a... Uh, I mean, it's not going down. Do I have any of my legendary poison I use to hunt yes, chaos demons? Yes. I'm going to apply that to a dart. I would say that you only need to have a proper uh, agility test and he will be dead. Okay, well, let me just roll that. I made it. And as uh, you are on, on the ceiling, you just <laughs> blow your pipe again and you see bestie girl that was running, running and, <laughs> and falls down. Oh, yeah. Barely gonna notice. I'm so used to this. Yeah, and he's dead. Um, I want to look around where he was going. Going through the corridor because there is only one passage. There is only oh, yeah, one but passage. I'm... But you, right now, you you weren't seeing this before. But you feel a stench right now, a foul stench, somewhere ahead of you. Hmm. I'm gonna crawl back down to Yankee. Yankee. Careful. Danger ahead. We must tread carefully and we will reach what's there. I will protect you. Hmm. I will skitter back up the wall and uh, give you a signal with my, uh, my little skink arm to move forward. Got it. No, I'm stealthily behind him. Okay. Uh, corridor uh, goes for at least 10 minutes. You didn't hear anything from Ayaktil still, but Corridor ends and you enter a small hidden valley in the jungle. And the first thing that you are seeing is a banner. It's a foul banner made of wood and parts of your kin. Part of Soros, Skink, mutilated bodies of them are all around, chaos symbols carved in their skin. Oxy, what is this? Chaos. No. Keep your eyes open. All right. I, I okay. This is what we're here for. Whenever did this, still around. Okay. Okay. Got it. Let's go. Uh, I am going to use my special perceptive skinky powers to try and figure out what went down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Intelligence. I have the, uh, uh, that is not going to be enough. But you at least know that there is some foul ritual, ritual here and someone is using blood and bodies of your kin mm. to desecrate this place as the prophecy of the slum foretold. I'm going to go just up, just up and up to try and uh, get a better vantage point and see mm -hmm. if I can find there anything are some trees. around. There are some trees, but they are quite dense. And there is only one pathway, really. Still forward. Okay. Can I move through the treetops forward? Yeah, yeah, you can. All right. Yankee, I'm you are too to... heavy to do such things. <laughs> <laughs> you see that Oxyotl oh. just jumps on one of the trees and disappears for you again. So you're alone. I mean, what are you going to do? Well, I must tread carefully and stay on the guard and wait for Oxy. <sighs> this is this is a highly stressful environment. I've never seen such chaos before. You can see a small okay. pound with a sacred plaque on the middle. You see right that it's sacred. It's whole golden, very old from the times of the old ones. And you hear that someone is bursting into the stone on the other side. I must prevent this. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm running. I'm running right now. Mm -hmm. As mm. you are running, you hear that ground beneath your feet moves, and spikes pop out of the ground. 
agility test. And one of the spikes pierced through your leg and you are now fully immobilized. Oh, I'm seeing this, right? Yeah, but let me finish it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Scratching on the other side of the stone plaque fades away. You hear something big moving. Dim moonlight show you something in the shadows that's grabbing, having in its giant hand its Aectil. It's only upper part of Aectil's body. And you see a mighty beast of most far with horns and two giant burning axes in its massive hand. Its whole skin shines in the moonlight with deep brass. It's a minotaur, snoring, hoofing, and preparing to charge. Whole, his whole body is covered in Aectil's blood. No! Brass Bull, this is your moment. I like the taste of this one. I want more. I begin by giving a mighty roar using my skill. Okay. Oxyotel and Yankito, you need to make a willpower test right now because you see an echo of mighty chaos roar going through this whole valley. Uh, I actually have the brave ability giving me plus two to my score test. Yes. Which so lets me meet it. Yeah. Oxyotal, you are not impressed by it because you saw chaos demons and other foul monstrosities on your journey through chaos waste. But Yankito, you are terrified. Brasbu, what are you doing? I would like to move to the skink that is currently impaled on the floor and attack it. Skink on a stick. Tarox, you, uh, Yankito, you are seeing a giant minotaur just slowly moving towards you. <laughs> Tarox, please make a damage test with uh, two one d twenty. Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yankee. You feel, you feel a premonition that one of those giant burning axes will land on your head in a minute, in a second right now, but it doesn't happen. You see the axes are put down on the side of this Minotaur. You see it mighty hoofs right above you. Minotaur kneels to you, grabs your head like a melon. And it squish it and takes a big bite of what is left of your head. Oxy! Oh. Well, it's uh, whatever the hell this thing is, is distracted, so you know. <laughs> Dart. <coughs> so, mm -hmm. again, agility test. <laughs> uh, I have made the shot. Okay. See if I can even pierce the armor. But I don't know right now, uh, sorry, double click. Okay, uh, brass bull, you can uh, parry it with uh, with your brass giant body right now. So it would be a strength test for you. Roll one d ten. Yes. Yes. Okay, and he parried this with his. He just took it on the chest. And Oxyotal, go with the damage, because we will have the damage right now. Alrighty, I will roll for the damage. That is going to be a total of nine. Okay, so it's four, uh, it's five damage, Torox. You got it on the chest, but this even enrages you. Boony skate, this is all you have. Filthy beast, man. 
Is he still in a tree? Uh, yeah, you don't see him. You only see uh, the direction that the dart was from. Hmm. Oxyota, what are you doing? Because you have second attack right now. Second oh. Action. Then I am going to take a minute to see if I could... Like, I saw it bounce off of his brass skin, right? Yeah. Do I see any weak points on the brass bowl? You see a burning mark on his neck. That, uh, that looks like a target to an experienced sharp shooting skink. I'm going to go for that mm -hmm. so with it, my weak point skill. Uh, so if you want to target a specific location, then it would, it would be your agility minus two. So it, it's a hard test. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Oh! And you, uh, Tarox, you see a dart just flies up. It's like, Vroom! nothing really happens. And the blood just stains on your full mouth. And that young team, the false king, the bestest king that was beneath you, is just a smear of blood right now. What are you doing? Turox will charge towards what general direction the darts came from. He has so subtlety. He doesn't need subtlety. He uses his charge ability and runs sweeping with dual axis, just at anything in his path. Okay, you don't need to roll on that. You're charging on the trees and cut every tree, every tree on your way. Oxyotal, it's agility test for you. Can do. Let's see. Uh, that's me making it. Okay, as you're swinging through those trees, they're all falling down instantly. You see a skinky shape just make a roll up of you and lands right uh, behind you. And Torox, what are you doing? You saw it. Oxyodol is directly behind me, so I try yeah. and spin an attack. Just spinning attack. Okay. Uh, both of you make uh, a test, and the uh, person that had the lowest will win this. Okay. As you swing your axis, Oxyotal makes like Neo. And just. <laughs> above his head. Oxyotal, what are you doing? Well, I would like to, uh, s while he's swinging at me, I would like to pounce, like bring my legs up and like back down on one of his axe blades and then like try and dart him in the face in that weak spot again. Oh, okay. Uh, I would say it would be a luck test if you make the jump. A luck test, huh? Let's see, what is my luck? Ooh, let's see. Hmm, didn't make the jump. And Oxyotal tries to jump on one of your access towers, but totally misses it and just fall down again to the ground. And Oxyotal, what do you want to do? <laughs> well, I will still try and blow dart this man. Uh, I think this Minotaur is probably worth some of the special poison I use for Chaos Demons at this point. Yes. He is not normal. Oh. And it's a critical, and you are blowing the pipe right in on its burning neck. Tarox, what are you doing? Tarox will ignore. Uh, use a spell he has called Ignore Pain and ignore all that hit. Yes. It's that once per game. And Tarox, you feel the blessing of the ruinous powers, and the dart just burns in your neck. Nothing really happens. Puny skink. Okay. Do I get an attack after that, or is that my spell only? Yeah, uh, it, now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the ground, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He I'm just right uh, silly, just, made a silly jump. <laughs> just double axes directly down on the ground. Just turn him into paste. Okay, it will be a strength test for you. It went and go with the damage. 
What about my dodge ability? You just jumped. <laughs> that took that takes the dodge. Uh, six, seven and Oxyotal, you see, you had luck because you're able to jump to the side a little bit, but Ooh. Ax just plunge into the earth and it shakes and you go full back and you hit the ancient plaque that Torox was desecrating. So Oxyotal, you're falling down on your back. You just hit this ancient plaque of gold that Torox was desecrating and you see that the brass bull is moving towards you and you're wounded, you're barely alive right now. Well, I am going to just kind of, you know, hand over my head flip back and stand like behind the plaque do I does like at a glance I don't suppose I can see anything helpful about the plaque for this for my situation can I no no you can I only pray so. to the old ones right now no time for that I'm gonna take another blow dart shot at him okay no it has really take all righty that it's a very good shot. Okay, go with the damage. Okay. Taurus just made an attack and he totally ignores you. And Taurox, the blowpipe, <coughs> one of the darts hit you on the right side of your neck and you never felt such pain. Slinky stink, stop moving so I can crush you. And you move forward, there are only several meters uh, between you and Oxyotl and the ancient plaque that is behind you. Behind him, the goal that you came here for, the ancient winds of magic that you want to absorb. What are you going to do? I'm going to move towards him. First, I'm gonna crush that plaque that he's standing in front of. I'm just gonna smash it, just run right into it. Okay, Oxyotl, what do you want to do? Because you see that Taurox is charging, but it's, he's not charging at you. He's charging at the sacred plaque. Hmm, I will try and leap off to the side before he can make, uh, make contact with me. And as I am leaping, take another blow dart mm -hmm. at him. Agility test, a full agility All test. All right. See. Uh, that's one. Okay. And go with the damage. Okay. That's a total of nine. Ooh. Torox, again, a blow dart just hits you. A again, in your neck. And you're feeling the pain, but you are so enraged that you just go through the plaque. That, that explodes. You feel the winds of magic just flow away into the heavens and you are so enraged that you can do what you want with this pasky skin right now hmm. i'm gonna take both my axes i'm gonna hurl them at him just okay go with the strength test <laughs> you totally misses miss uh, too enraged Oxyoto, but you are enraged, so we can do it again. <laughs> First I've got attack, no, I've just got no axes, so I must use my hands. Yes, you need to do it because you throw your axes at the Oxyoto that he dodges without problem. What are you doing? Me or Oxyoto? Uh, Torox. I lower my head and just charge. Okay, okay another strength test. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, it went smoothly, Oxyotal. What are you doing? You you can dodge it using agility. I am going to try to dodge it. Okay. I do have the fancy schmancy dodge skill as well. Okay, go with it. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Dodge. Okay, but you see Torox charging on you. The pieces of black West didn't even fall to the ground. He did it so fast. And the horns plunges you to the ground. You are not harmed. But you see 
Torox above you and you are between his giant horns right now. To the, mm. that plunge you to the ground. Oxyotal. I are there any shards of that plaque on the ground next to They are to me? everywhere, but you're in a shallow pool right now. Okay, but he, he he's pinned me down right there, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I can't blow dart him, but I'm gonna try and grab one of those shards and shove it into that weak point in his neck. Okay, do it with strength test. Oh, strength's not as good. Let's see. Oh my god! You're <laughs> taking one of the shards. And you plunge into his neck, and Brass Bull goes back. But when he was going back, one of his horns cuts your belly, and the blood goes off. And both of you are kneeling in this bloody pound. And Torox, what you going to say? Uh, I'm gonna just stumble at him, gripping, gnashing teeth, anything to put him in my mouth and couldn't eat it. To right. see outcome of this, everyone, you need to buy the Silence and the Fury DLC for Total War, Warhammer 2, and see who is going to win. <laughs> Taurus, the Brass Bull, or Oxyotal. Thank you, everyone, for this game. <laughs> it has been a pleasure. <laughs> Yankito, Ayktil, you can get back. <laughs> My sons. Oh no. Yo, I got I got bamboozled. I got massacred. <laughs> I left you with that thing because I, I thought you could handle that egg till. I did. Skin um, gonna stick. <laughs> this is some messed up crap, man. After hey, man. after um uh, Cody DC again. I couldn't hear anything anymore. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, I just saw. Uh, I, I I really like his uh, voice acting. I am sad that I didn't hear. I still. Uh, 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 I will just uh, say it right now. Because why I still died because he was left alone, and Taurus just went around and killed him. <laughs> oh, so when I was uh, uh, smashed away from a troglodyte and was unconscious. He just uh, saw that and, and killed me while... Yeah. There were a lot of branching paths, but we won't be talking about them. Uh, we'll be recording right now a very short after show with the spoilers and other stuff. And this after show you will be able to see uh, right after the release of this RPG session on uh, Cody Bones Patreon, uh, Patreon and SFO Patreon. So it's like an exclusive after show material that we will be talking about in the spoilers for all of you. Thank you uh, very much for this game. Uh, I hope you all like it. And uh, last word from each of you. Starting with Cody, of course. Thanks for having me. And this was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I apologize. My internet kept going out because I have children. And one of them... We will I cut think, it off. We will cut it off on a recording. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't pee on the router in this reality. Good to hear. Good to hear. <laughs> Potty training is hell. Kids. Uh, Luz, uh, oh, Luz, you can show your face because you <laughs> you have an uh, incredible mask. Show your mask. face. Luz, show your face. What do you mean? That's his face, man. That's his oh, face. <laughs> so last word from you, Luz. Uh, it is... It's Put it back on. Oxyadol. And he is a whole lot of fun. I really felt being a 7,000-year-old angry skink boy. Let me just go ahead and get that out. There we go. Oh, damn, boy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Kabui? Well, what can I say? I didn't get much screen time like last time, I guess. Mm. <laughs> I was quite unlucky. Um, I total warhead. So I really, I really enjoyed it because, like, let me tell you, man, y'all told me to get a webcam. You know, I think, I think I paid dividends. You know, um, uh, it was actually pretty funny. You know, seeing the reactions and then trying to speak in uh, skinky tongue, which I have no idea what I was saying, but. Hopefully it made sense to someone. Probably yeah. really insulting. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that 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 was pretty cool. You know, I, I'd say you know I was like, oh damn, I got a good roll, and then all of a sudden, pfft, you know, whatever. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay, everyone, <laughs> let's wave. Thanks for the game. I hope everyone had a good time with us. <laughs> he ate me. Just a quick reminder, everyone, you can now see exclusive after show when we talk about spoilers on Cody Bones and SFO Mod Team Patreon.
thanks everyone for watching Ken. You couldn't hear me in your headset, and I was talking about how nice and shiny your hair and beard are. I was like, you look like the Pantene Pro V commercial. Oh, like, yeah. you know, someone's like just rubbing conditioner in you, just like bathing no. it daily. It's so shiny. That, yeah, well, yeah. thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Speaking of, uh, uh oh, there's this big old thing. Um, it's invisible. It's invisible. You oh, need yeah. to say it, to... It's invisible like oxygen. Well, I mean, it's on theme. <laughs> Yeah. There we are. <laughs> well, anyway, so my wife threw this together in like a oh. couple of hours because oh. it's like, hey, you mentioned something offhandedly about costumes. You still want one? And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal. So she stayed up all night doing that. Yeah, that's, um, that's fantastic, really.